hey guys what's up what it do welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i'm casey and if you are new here please take one second go down below hit that subscribe button and click that little bell button so you don't miss when i post a new video it has been a very long time since i've shared my feminine hygiene slash shower slash body care favorites i usually do at least one of these videos a year and i'm pretty sure i skipped last year because my life was in shambles but we're back today and because it has been so long I have a lot of products to share. I have literally like a bunch of different products in a bunch of different categories. So I'm gonna make sure to like link timestamps below if you're looking for anything specific. But if you want the whole nine, if you want to know everything, um, let's get into it. Okay, so of course we're gonna start off with basic hygiene, daily things. It's rare that I say that I have a favorite body wash because I usually alternate between body washes. I still do. Um, but the one that I'm reaching for the most often right now, y'all, is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Dia Bright Clarifying AHA BHA Body Wash. This stuff is so good. I think the thing that like attracted me to it initially is the smell. It has the same smell as the Boom Dia Bright Cream, if you know what it smells like. It's really warm. Um, it's not, it's like sweet, but it has a really like musky undertone to it. It just, it smells really good. The lather is amazing. And of course it has the AHA and BHA, so it's gonna help to really brighten the skin and it's still gentle enough to use every day. So another one of my current favorites is the Mod Body Wash. It's actually a body wash and a bubble bath. And again, it has a really warm scent. If you don't like warm scents, you probably won't like these. They're not like sweet and like girly and flirty. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't really have any favorite body washes that have a really sweet smell. I don't, I'm just not really attracted to smells like that. But I love this because it's pH balanced, it's vitamin rich, has a great lather as well. Mod is actually a new um, sexual wellness brand in Sephora. So they have all types of things for intimate body care, sexual wellness, all the things. It's a really nice gender neutral brand. I'm a fan. Um, and this is probably my third one of these. I love it. This is one of those washes that I can use every day because it doesn't have any active ingredients in it. It's moisturizing, it cleanses, it gets the job done. And then last thing for body washes, I really like the Fenty Body Bar. This is probably like not a good example of what it looks like because I've used a lot of it, but I'll like either put a picture on the screen or something so I can see what it really looks like. A lot of people complain that this formula is drying and to an extent it is. But I like it for when I really want to be clean, like after the gym or after working out or after going to the beach and you know, you really want a deep cleanse. What you can always do if it does dry out your skin is just use it first and then like apply a body conditioner afterwards or use like a hydrating body wash afterwards. But I really like it. It lathers very well. The smell is very subtle. It kind of reminds me of like cocoa butter. When it comes to washing the little girl downstairs, you guys know I used to love honey pot and I still do um, but for some reason I feel like the foam consistency is actually a little bit drying I know that that probably won't like resonate for everybody but once I started explore like experimenting with other body washes that aren't foam I was like hmm feel a little bit more moist down there if that makes sense <laughs> not in that way but like the actual skin itself feels more hydrated when I use like a cream cleanser instead and so this brand called daily Luna actually sent me their everywhere wash which is a body wash that can be used anywhere literally everywhere wash it can be used on the body and also on the intimate parts and what I really like about this formula specifically the hydrating one is that after using it it just feels soft <laughs> Like, I don't even know how to properly describe that. You have to try it to know what I'm talking about. Um, but it is a hydrating formula. So it just leaves the outer skin like feeling so soft and moist. Like <laughs> not that it like increases moisture if you know what I'm trying to say. But it just hydrates the skin. And they actually have a bunch of different formulas depending on like what you need. There's a sensitive formula. I think there's a regular daily formula. Um, I've tried the daily one and then the hydrating one. And I think the hydrating one is literally my favorite. It's pH balanced. Uh, developed with gynecologists and dermatologists, um, natural ingredients, vegan. It has vitamin E, C, F, and omega-3. This one does have a slight fragrance, but it's a natural fragrance. If you don't like fragrance in your washes, they also have a um, sensitive version that is fragrance-free. But the hydrating one, y'all, this is my favorite, like, intimate body wash now. Like, it's so good. So those are all of my favorite, like, basic cleansing products the ones that i'm pretty much rotating right now so next let's get into shaving and like shaving maintenance because i don't shave everywhere i actually only shave my legs everything else i get waxed just because i like the waxed feeling i think it lasts longer um it also helps me to prevent ingrown hairs 
later down the line i do want to get laser um but we're not there yet but some of my current shaving favorites so if you've been following me for a while you probably know that i love this black owned brand called we the people and i used to use their gold razor really pretty luxurious razor um but mine broke for some reason i don't know how because it's such a heavy razor and because it's so expensive i'm like i'm not about to replace this and then it break again so um i still use their sugar coat moisturizing shave to gel milk which is like you apply it to your skin before you shave and it just helps to give a really nice um smooth base so that the hair picks up easily doesn't like break midway to cause ingrown hairs and what's really unique about this formula is that it goes on clear but then when it gets in contact with water it actually turns into like a milky consistency and it's just it just feels really soft and hydrating on the skin and so i actually replaced my gold razor with this razor from hanny i think that's how you say it hanny it's a new brand that's in sephora um it's actually very similar to the we the people razor that i had like the the weight of it is similar the shape of it is similar i really love this razor like i think that the blade is just amazing it's two-sided um it's really easy to change the blade as well it just kind of like unscrews and then you replace the blade on the inside and close it back in it can be kind of tricky to not accidentally cut yourself because the blade is super sharp um but i love it and it actually came with refills for the blade as well so you don't have to really worry about changing the blades too often and i love this one over the we the people one as well because the we the people one rusted really easily this one it has like a plastic covering over it so it won't rust it has a cap over it that actually covers the blade so that it doesn't get like bacteria and stuff in it i'd be so particular about shaving because I've gotten like bumps and rashes from shaving with like razors that aren't good. So I'm really particular about the quality of my razors and I can definitely say this one is A1. Also before shaving, I always like to exfoliate the skin and this is my holy grail scrub for preventing ingrown hairs, for getting really discoloration, for smoothing the skin, for brightening the skin, like it does everything. This is the uh, First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. It has 10% AHA. So again, another chemical exfoliating product that you don't wanna use every day, um, but it's it's so good. Even for sensitive skin, the little granules, they're, they're kind of like abrasive, but they're so thin and so little that it doesn't actually scrape the skin. I love that with this, you get the chemical exfoliants, but you also get the physical exfoliants. So you feel it working as it's also working. And like I said, I actually will scrub my legs first before shaving. I should have probably showed this before the shaving part, but <laughs> I always um, exfoliate before shaving. I feel like it just helps to kind of like lift the skin a little bit, not lift the skin, but like lift the hair follicle so it makes it easier to shave. And it also helps to prevent ingrown hairs that way. And I actually use this all over too, not just, you know, for shaving. I use it on my bikini area. I use it on um, my chest area, my underarms, like literally everywhere. And again, not something to use every day. I do have some other body scrubs that I'm gonna talk about later in the video that you can use every day, but this one, no ma'am, no ma'am, not every day. <laughs> so like I mentioned, I only shave my legs. Um, everywhere else, I typically wax. Uh, specifically, my bikini, I get a full Brazilian. Um, my stomach, underarms, I wax my lip. <laughs> and so I wanted to share some essentials that I use for like post waxing care as well. Because waxing can cause ingrown hairs if the waxer is not careful. I really like using the Topicals Ingrown Tonic. This is a lifesaver for if you are prone to ingrown hairs, but also just if you tend to get discoloration down there in general. This has salicylic acid, glycolic acid, niacinamide, and zinc PCA, which are all just really good ingredients to make sure that the skin, like the intimate skin down there stays healthy and doesn't get irritated. Also, if you didn't know, like after you wax, your skin is a lot more prone to like absorbing bacteria. So having the salicylic acid and the glycolic acid in this is going to help fight bacteria down there and i just find that when i use it i don't get ingrown hairs like it's just that simple i also really like mod's new ingrown hair oil because this is like a gel not a gel but it's like a liquid consistency sometimes it can feel a little bit drying on the skin so what i'll do is i'll just apply the soothe ingrown hair oil by mod right over top of this just to help rehydrate the skin and also to further prevent ingrown hairs i also like using this on my chin because sometimes i pluck hairs on my chin and my face because i don't know i have random long hairs that i have to pluck and sometimes they leave bumps if i'm not careful but whenever i use this oil on it before i pluck and after i pluck it 
I don't get ingrown hairs. Like it just doesn't happen. And this is not going to really help like brighten the skin or anything, but it just helps to keep the skin hydrated and happy. And then if you have like very aggressive dark marks, I cannot recommend this enough. This is the Vantage P PFB Ultra Skin Lightening Post Hair Removal Roll On Serum. And um, when you hear skin lightening, don't be afraid. It's not gonna make you white. Um, but it really like it works quickly to help get rid of dark marks and dark spots But with this as well, you want to make sure that you're applying Either an oil or a moisturizer over top of it because it can be drying to the skin And I also wouldn't re recommend using it immediately after waxing So sometimes what I'll do is after my wax I'll use the ingrown hair tonic from Topicals for like the first three days after waxing and then when I'm on day four day five I'll start using this to help combat any dark spots that I have left over. So since we're talking about the intimate area, I do have some product suggestions for overall V care. I'm not gonna say the full word because YouTube likes to demonetize people for just being transparent, but we're just kind of gonna call it V care. So first thing I have to recommend is this Salt XO Femme Rejuve Oil. Now, if you have a sensitive down there area, I probably wouldn't recommend this because it does have essential oils in it, but if you're pretty normal down there and it can tolerate most things, you obviously don't wanna apply it inside, but it works very well on the outer area to just keep you smelling good. It keeps you smelling good, it keeps you hydrated down there. It also has a slight tingling feeling. Um, if you guys have ever tried the honey pot pads that have um, the herbs in it, the herbs, the herbs in it, this is a very similar formula because it has natural herbs in it and it leaves a, a slight tingling sensation. But if you're someone who suffers from pain down there, like during your menstrual cycle or just, you know, in general, this is really gonna help to soothe that. It helps with inflammation. It also can actually help with arousal if you need help in that department too. <laughs> so again, if you're sensitive down there, don't even, don't even, cause it will probably trigger like um, a growth of bacteria that you are already prone to. But if you're someone who's pretty normal down there, don't get like spurts of um, yeast infections or anything, this would be great. I do have an alternative to this though. So there's this brand called um, Sweet Spot Labs and they actually make like um, pH balance products, natural products for the down there area. They also have a feminine wash that's really good too. But this is their Hydrating Vulva Serum. So this is very similar again to the oil, but it's fragrance free, cruelty free, vegan, all natural. The only reason why I reach for the oil more often than this one is because this one just feels better for me. And like I said, I'm not sensitive, so I can use this. But if you are sensitive and let's say the area down there is a little dry or even after you do adult activities, <laughs> you know, sometimes the skin down there can be a little irritated if, if it happens. So this will help to really hydrate that smooth inflammation without being harsh down there. Like highly recommend this if you are sensitive, but you're looking for something to help hydrate the area so good it's formulated with clean non-toxic non-irritating ingredients no hormones no essential oils nothing now for internal care um of course i'm not a doctor or gynecologist my specific gynecologist who i actually go to here in atlanta she highly recommended the honeypot company vaginal care probiotics just as daily care like it's not something that i necessarily need but this one specifically not only helps to keep the bacteria down there balanced but it also helps with um your ur urinary tract support so i'm someone who used to get utis pretty often like back to back to back and ever since i've been using these no more utis and again it has those probiotics that are really good for balancing the good and the bad bacteria down there but from internally so with these you just take one a day and they're actually pretty small well i lied they're not that small <laughs> but one pill a day to help keep the bacteria down there healthy and happy as well as you know it has cranberry extract in it which is obviously really good for you know uti support highly recommend these again consult your doctor but mine recommended these and i've been loving them i take this every day with my um just daily multivitamin pack and the last thing that i have for down there care is the new luna daily um everywhere spray so this is actually a really unique product i'm someone who doesn't like to use wipes like i like using wipes but the thing is 
they go so quickly and especially when i'm on the go like you know when it's that time of the month like you can literally go through wipes so quickly so this is actually a spray to wipe so it's literally a spray <laughs> but you apply it to like your tissue or to a paper towel or something soft that you can use down there and it instantly turns into a vaginal wash basically and this is actually the um counterpart to the luna daily wash that i talked about earlier so again there's a formula for every concern this one is the hydrating one they're both pink um, but there's also a sensitive version there's also a daily version like a normal version it just depends on what you need um but i've been carrying this with me like during that time of the month whenever i just you know want to wipe but i don't want to carry wipes with me literally just spray it on a tissue wipe down there and it feels like i've cleansed in the shower like if you are a wipes person um the sweet spot labs that i mentioned earlier has really good wipes fragrance free they're gentle and these can actually be used everywhere so not just in the intimate areas but like they're full body wipes these i'll typically use in the house um but on the go i just take my spray from luna daily the only thing that i don't love about these is that you can't flush them but yeah <laughs> okay so let's get into some of my favorite body moisturizers these are also things that i use daily i pretty much alternate um but these would be my favorites so first i have the necessary the body serum if you've been following me you know i just i have been using this for years i've gone through like 20 of these literally whether the brand sent them to me or i like repurchased them myself i just think that it's such a great layering product like it goes on so nicely to damp skin it just leaves the skin feeling so plump and kind of like it's holding in the moisture from your shower but it's super lightweight so it, it's not something that you want to just use by itself like you probably can especially in the summer, but I like to layer it with other products. It just helps to give that first layer of hydration that I need. I am, I have an obsession. <laughs> I absolutely love the Fenty Butter Drop collections. Obviously, I have all three of them. This is the original Butter Drop. It is amazing. It smells amazing. It goes into the skin like butter, literally. This is one of those body butters that I know I can just reach for at any day any time and i'm gonna get like that smooth soft skin that i love and need but they also came out with two other ones that i also love um this one was a limited edition one it came out during the holiday season last year and a lot of people didn't like this one because it has a very like cookie sweet scent and typically i don't like sweet scents but when this came out in um like the holiday season it was perfect because i liked smelling like a fresh gingerbread cookie <laughs> and what i love about this formula too is that it actually has um these little like sh highlighting shimmery things in it but yeah the whole trilogy all three of the <laughs> fancy butter drops i'm a fan it just depends on what i need that day whether i want some shimmer or i just want to go without the shimmer and i just need the moisture I know I can grab these and it's going to do what it needs to do every time. When I need a little bit more moisture, like some some heavy stuff, maybe in the colder winter months, I'm going to reach for the Osea Undaria Algae Body Butter. You guys have seen me talk about this on my channel plenty of times. I've been sponsored by Osea. Absolutely a fan. This is almost gone. <laughs> As you can see, this is definite. Oh, and it smells so good. It smells like the beach. Um, but this is definitely one of my favorite body butters. Again, one of those body butters that I know I could just reach for at any time. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then the last one that I wanted to share is the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil. This is another one of my favorite, um, like everyday body moisturizers because this one is not as thick as the Osea one. Um, but also not as thick as the Fenty Butter Drop either. It's like... The consistency is a little bit thinner, but it still gives a lot of hydration. So this is one of my favorites to use in the summertime. I have the, why, why am I smelling it when I have the fragrance-free one? <laughs> but I have the fragrance-free one because I like to kind of mix this with oil sometimes too. And it's been a favorite of mine for years probably. So one of my favorite body oils actually to mix with the Josie Moran um, is the Claire Elements of Comfort Body Oil. She is a luxury, okay? She is not, she's not cheap but she is amazing. It just smells like, <sighs> again, if you're somebody like that likes really sweet scents, you're not gonna like this because it's very musky, kind of woody, but it just smells like a grown woman. <laughs> like it just smells so good. As you can see, my bottle is like 
empty it's all the way down here um but i like mixing this with the josie moran because this doesn't have fragrance but this fragrance is really strong so together it's just magic um another one of my favorites of course is the osea um Ondaria algae body oil she pairs very well with the body butter of course and as you can see she is empty i think i have like two more of them though so i'm not tripping um but i love this oil again it just leaves this soft glow but it doesn't like feel heavy on your skin at all like it's not greasy it also smells good it smells just like the body butter it's like summertime breeze or something i don't know <laughs> um and then the last body oil that i wanted to share is the sol de janeiro bum 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 it's not bum bum i always say bum bum it's boom boom the sol de janeiro boom boom body for menza oil this just came out not too long ago and i actually worked with sol de janeiro to promote it when it came out in sephora i wish that i could say that i didn't like it because it's so expensive but it is so good and it actually so this was formulated to help tighten the skin um you have to do like a proper limpage massage in order to actually like get the full benefits of that but even without that it just again it's one of those oils that doesn't just sit on the skin it leaves a soft glow but it's like not heavy and of course it has the same scent as the boom boom um body lotion so if you're a fan of that you can mix them together um or of course use it separately but it has that same scent amazing for the summer like highly recommend for the summer okay so next we are going to talk about body treatments and these are products again that i wouldn't use every day but they're good to reach for when i have a skin concern and i want to just throw like a treatment into my routine at some point during the week the first one is the topicals exfoliating body serum this stuff is it's so good okay i think it's very much slept on like i see people talking about it sometimes but if you have like textured skin um discoloration anywhere um or even just like bumpy skin anywhere this will help to smooth it in like a month like i'm not even exaggerating it has retinol in it which is really really good for promoting um cell regeneration so it's going to basically help your skin produce healthier cells. It also has lactic acid, which is a chemical exfoliant that's going to help smooth textured skin. Um, it also will help to brighten dark spots. It has squalene, which is really moisturizing, really hydrating for the skin. And another ingredient called urea that I have no idea what that is. Um, but I just know this stuff is good. The only thing that I don't like about it is that the spout, like it just, it, it, puts out too much product at one time i'm not going to demonstrate it because it's probably going to squirt all over the camera <laughs> but um you have to be careful when getting the product out because it will go everywhere if you if you squeeze it too hard but highly recommend again not something that i would use every day and this is a serum as well so when i do use this i'll put on a body butter or a body moisturizer over top of it to help seal in the moisture um because you can't really use it by itself and also um it can cause like sensitivity to the sun because it does have chemical exfoliants. So whenever you use something like this, you want to make sure that you are using a sunscreen on your body um, during the day. And I have some suggestions for body sunscreens. We'll talk about that later in the video. Another like retinol product that's really good for smoothing textured skin is the Naturium. I think that's how you pronounce the brand. Naturium. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's Naturium. Um, their Skin Renewing Retinol Body Lotion. This is kind of like a thicker version of the retinol serum slathered by Topicals. Um, but I still wouldn't use this by itself. Like it's not moisturizing enough for me to use alone. I will still put like a body butter or a body moisturizer over top of it. But this one I like more than the serum for when my skin feels drier because it is like a lotion consistency but it's very similar it has the retinol it doesn't have lactic acid i don't think i would probably say it's a sensitive skin alternative to the exfoliating body serum by topicals and then the last body treatment that i have is the dr dennis gross exfoliating body treatment if you guys have been following me for a while you probably know of the dr dennis gross uh daily alpha beta peels this is very similar to that, but it's for the body. And I actually use these specifically on my stomach because my stomach gets hairy. And um, so sometimes I shave it or I'll wax it, but I have some discoloration on my stomach from it, um, from getting like ingrown hairs there. And um, so this really helped to smooth the skin there and brighten my dark spots a little bit. It's definitely the most intense 
out of the three treatments. So this I probably wouldn't recommend for sensitive skin. It literally is like a facial for the body. It also has chemical exfoliants. I believe it's AHA. Yeah, it has alpha beta. So this is going to be more aggressive on the skin than the other products. But if your skin can handle it, it can actually be used everywhere. So anywhere you have textured skin discoloration from scars, whether that's on like your legs from falling or like, I don't know, <laughs> cutting yourself from somewhere you have like discoloration and scars, you can use this to help brighten them. This again is something that you would only use one to two times a week. I was okay using it one time a week when I was clearing up the um, section on my stomach. But if you have like more aggressive, you know, skin concerns, you could use it up to two times a week. They come in little singular packets. So you just take it out and apply it and always moisturize after this as well because it can dry out the skin. And of course it has AHA, use sunscreen during the day. I actually have quite a few favorite deodorants um, that I've collected over the years. If you know me, you know I love the Kosa Sport deodorant. Like this is probably one of my top favorites. It's clear, it goes on clear. This is the fragrance free one, but I actually really like the one with fragrance in it too. But it actually has AHAs in it too, so it's going to help um, keep the skin under your underarms bright and soft. Another alternative to this one is the Necessaire, the deodorant gel. These are very similar, like they do the same thing basically. The only reason why I reach for the Necessaire one sometimes more often is just because I like the packaging. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good enough reason, um, but these are so similar. They both have the AHAs in them. They're both going to help keep the underarm area bright. I also really love the Donna Karan Cashmere Mist deodorant. I see a lot of people talking about this and I'm like, y'all are kind of late. <laughs> I've been using this probably since like, if you go back to my old body care videos, like 2014, 2015, I was using this. Um, it's still one of my favorites. It's antiperspirant. So sometimes I'll actually layer the two. Like I'll use the necessary gel first to get like the skincare benefits. And then I'll put this on top to help with the antiperspirant and the smell. This smells amazing. If you know like Donna Karan's Cashmere Mist fragrance, this smells like that and it's just divine, beautiful. Okay, so let's get into some foot care products. Y'all know I, I've always loved taking good care of my feet. In all of my hygiene videos, I have some type of product that helps with um, like either foot odor, um, keeping the skin on, the, on your feet smooth and soft. In between pedicures, you know, you gotta keep your own feet up. I can't find pumice power, but I do have video footage of it. This is the Lush Pumice Power um, Foot Scrub. I love this thing. I have been using this for years and years and years. It has not failed me yet. It is just a really easy and quick way to clean your feet, scrub your feet, and deodorize your feet all in one shot, like in the shower. I typically use it every day. Like you don't have to use it every day, but I like using it every day. It just makes me feel like my feet are on 10. <laughs> you just wanna be careful to leave it in the tin container because the wetter it gets, the faster it it will like disintegrate and then you'll have to keep buying it. But if the, the drier you can keep the product, the longer it'll last you. And then I also have two foot moisturizers that I really, really like. They both can be used on their own, but together. I'm someone who actually has very dry feet. Like it's kind of embarrassing, but like the, my heels get dry quickly. Like they flake easily. So, that's another reason why I like to exfoliate my feet almost every day. But this Beauty Pie Footopia Super Softening Foot and Heel Cream, oh my gosh. Beauty Pie actually sent me this whole big self-care package, which I'm so grateful for. But this specifically, it's like a gel consistency, but it actually helps to exfoliate the feet with enzymes, but it's also really moisturizing because it has shea butter and uh, microbiome plus, which is like a probiotic that helps to moisturize. And it has like a slight tingling sensation. Like it feels like minty on the feet almost. And that just, it feels amazing. Okay, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. But it is a very thin consistency. So if you have drier feet like me, it might not work 100% on its own, but that is where repeats from Lush will come in for me. You can always just layer this with a regular body lotion, but that's boring. Like <laughs> if you really wanna take your foot care to another level, use a foot cream or a foot salt that's designed for the feet. This foot balm from Lush, oh my gosh. It's, first of all, it smells like oranges, which in general will help to deodorize your feet. Like that, that really sweet, 
citrusy scent um but it's literally like a balm so as soon as you apply it to your feet it just smooths out the texture it feels really good i like it too because since it's not like a lotion it doesn't leave my feet feeling slippery so if i'm gonna like put on heels or sandals or whatever like i'm not gonna be sliding around in them okay so since i shared some body treatments that can cause the skin to be a little bit sensitive to the sun i wanted to share some of my favorite body spf products because i know it can be a hassle to have to remember to put SPF on your body, you're already doing all this other stuff, but these are pretty easy to use. So this is the Super Goop um, Glow Oil. This is SPF 50. I This is my go-to because literally you just spray it on. I'll spray it on so you can see. Spray it on and it's like so easy. <laughs> it's like you're applying an actual spray SPF um, but what I love about this too is that it actually does add like a subtle glow to the skin it's really moisturizing I think it has like sunflower oil um, grapeseed oil argan oil really really easy way to get your SPF in and also moisturize the skin and keep it soft and glowy as well and then super Goop also has a spray it's an anti -ax antioxidant body mist that's also SPF 50 um, which is really good too, but like I said, I just, I like the glow from this one, so I usually reach for this one. But if you're not really like an oil person, or let's say your skin is already oily, this one has a more like matte finish, and so it'll be a good alternative to the glow oil. Um, but then there's also the glow screen body, which is really good. This one's only SPF 40, but it doesn't really make a difference. If you're someone who prefers like a SPF lotion, this is going to give you a little bit more moisture than the oil and the spray would but it also has like a slight shimmer effect you probably can't see it on camera but it does give like a nice like bronzy sheer effect to the skin but whichever one works best for you just make sure that in the summertime you're applying spf to your body as well especially if you're using body treatments that have chemical exfoliants you're going to be doing more damage if you don't protect your skin from the sun during the day okay so last but not least i wanted to throw in a few other like self-care products that again not necessities but they are great things to throw into your body care routine every now and then first things first y'all already know i love luscious body conditioners i'm not reaching for these every day like it's just an extra step in the skincare routine or the, the shower routine that i don't have the time for all the time but rose argon this is my top favorite it just it smells amazing um but i also love tingle because this is great to use after the gym it literally tingles like it has something i don't know if it's menthol yes it has menthol in it so it it helps like to loosen up your muscles a little bit again not something that i would use daily but um after the gym if i just want to pamper myself a little bit this just feels ugh, it feels so good literally feels like icy hot but in a moisturizing way <laughs> two other body scrubs that i like to use that don't have like any ahas or like treatments in them are the osea salt of the earth body scrub love 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 this stuff this is one of those body scrubs though that it it's not like like the texture isn't super thick like as soon as it gets in contact with water, like the granules kind of melt. So this isn't one of those scrubs that are is really abrasive on the skin. So if you're someone who doesn't like heavy scrubs, like this would be a great one. I'm someone who actually prefers like a little, a little roughness in my exfoliating scrubs. So whenever I'm not using this one, I do really love the Beauty Pie um, Soul Providers re-energizing dry oil sugar scrub this one this is just straight scrub like it's just ugh, and it smells so good <sighs> this is like one of those perfect scrubs to use in the morning like when you first wake up because it has grapefruit it has grapefruit lemon peel and uh, black pepper essential oil so it is actually extremely energizing oh my god it just smells so good and again this is one of those thicker more abrasive scrubs so if you have sensitive skin or you don't like that abrasiveness don't reach for this one but the osea one will probably be better for you um and then i also have two pretty unique products also from the brand maley's these are obviously also things that are not necessities in your routine but this brand sent these to me and sometimes i just reach for them for the fun of it like i can't really sit here and say if i have noticed a difference in these body parts <laughs> But this is the Be Thick Booty Enhancing Mask. And it's not actually like a mask. You 
apply it and massage it in like you don't rinse it off but I really like it like it the texture feels really good on the booty <laughs> it also smells really good and fresh so like just in general if you want your butt to smell good like this is amazing and then this is also the be perky lips and firm breast mask and I also love the consistency of this too because it it's very like smoothing and I can't, like I said, I can't say if I've noticed that it lifts my breasts, but I feel like the, when I massage it in, first of all, it's just, it's really self pampering to massage your breasts. Like it probably sounds weird, but it just feels really good applying. Like I can't, I can't, like I said, I can't say if it does anything, but just the thought that it's for the breast specifically, like I like it and I'll throw it in my routine maybe once or twice a week whenever I think about it or I have the extra time to do it. And then last but not least, I have Burn, which is a massage candle from Maud. It's the brand I was telling you guys about earlier from Sephora. I love this thing. I actually have three of them because I bought one myself and then the brand also just sent me another one for a campaign that I did recently. This candle, first of all, smells so good again it has like very musky woody scents it has cedar leaf clove and lemongrass and amber so it's not one of those really sweet flirty fruity scents but oh, it smells so good it smells so sexy and the way it works is like you just burn the candle i usually like burn it before i hop in the shower and then afterwards you blow out the candle and then the oils inside of it actually melt into a body oil and you can use it as a massage oil or you can of course just use it as a regular body oil and it feels so good the temperature is not hot enough to where it would burn you um i know that can be probably a concern for some people but as long as you let it cool off a little bit before you apply it to your skin when it's when the warm texture the warm texture the warm oil like gets in contact with your skin after your shower it just feels amazing again not a necessity but if you're looking for something to upgrade your body care routine let me tell you this is i love it it uses jojoba oil i think as like the main oil in it but it's so good and i think that's everything I think that's everything. <laughs> I know there was a lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to link one link below to have all these products there so you can always refer to it. Make sure that you guys give me a thumbs up if you enjoy videos like this. These are probably my favorite videos to do because I just love sharing products. Like doing the tutorials and stuff is cool, but like just sharing the products that I love using, my favorite. So if you guys enjoy these, these type of videos, please thumbs me up. Make sure to follow me on social media to keep up. Also, you can book a one-to-one -one human design session with me if you're interested in that as well. And hopefully I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up. No, you see my text, baby, please say something. Wine by the glass, you're in a cheapskate, huh? Just gotta move on my release day, huh?